we begin today's lesson, I want you to take a moment and think about what kind of different graphs you have done in math before and how you have used them. Today we're going to be learning about a different type of graph. We're going to be talking more about drawing a picture in math. Okay? So I want to pose this problem. Myra scored 10 points. They're playing basketball. And Myra scored 10 points. Carrie scored 14 points more than Myra. So it's important that here that we can draw a picture and write an equation. So when we draw this picture, we want to keep it kind of the same. And the, 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 the size of it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to start off by drawing a big rectangle. Okay? Okay, and we're looking for, what we're trying to find here is how many points carry scored. So I'm going to use a lowercase cursive K for carry. Alright, now, Myra scored 10 points and carry scored 14 points more. So I'm going to divide this somewhat in half and have Myra over here, she scored 10 points. Carrie scored 14 points more. Okay, there's a clue word there. When you see clue words like more, less, decreased by, increased by, um, those words signify whether it's addition or subtraction. When you see the word more, what do you think it is? Very good, it is addition. So we are going to then write out an equation. An equation comes from the word equal. Okay, so we, we need something plus something equals something. So our equation here is going to be 10 plus 14 equals K. To then solve this equation, we just solve the addition problem here to find the sum. And 10 plus 14 is 24. Okay? So the answer to this problem is Carrie scored 24 points. Okay, now let's look at this problem. Susan has 42 CDs and Larry has 26. We want to find out how many more Susan has than Larry. Okay, so this time we're going to do a subtraction problem because it says how many more. It, okay, it doesn't um, ask for more, to add on more. It asks for how many more. So, when we set this picture up, it's going to look a little bit different. Okay, first, we'll draw one square here. Alright, now, Susan has 42. Okay, Larry only has 26. So, we're going to look roughly right here. Okay, 26 CDs, and we're going to look to find N. I use the, the letter N because N can uh, symbolize the word number. So now we need to do a subtraction problem. So when we set this up, we're going to take 42 minus 26. Finally, when we do the subtraction problem, we will find the answer to our problem. Again, the problem was Susan had 42 CDs and Larry only had 26. How many more did Susan have? So we, do, we did 42 minus 26 equals N. And then when we find N, when we solve for N, N equals 16.